Welcome to HR in the Fast Lane. Today we have a wonderful guest, Scott Sinclair, CEO and founder of Exclutel Communications. Hey Scott, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm fantastic. Thanks for coming out today. So Thanks for having me. Absolutely. I want to just emphasize when I looked at, you know, we have to introduce him, of course. And so as I'm looking at your background, I'm thinking, this is fascinating. I know that you're an entrepreneur just like myself, but the first thing that jumps out about me and you and our variants is that I'm an entrepreneur that's newer, right? I'm somebody that was in the corporate world for like two decades before I jumped off the ship. And here's somebody next to you guys who worked in the corporate world or the public world, if you will, for how many years? Uh, four. Four. Okay. Four years, you guys. So that means 14 years ago he founded his business and he has scaled it. And it's not just any business, ladies and gentlemen. He literally is, you're looking at the CEO of one of the 101 best and brightest companies to work for in Chicago. All right. That is, that's a big, big thing to announce because not just any company can actually have a culture that is winning workplace here in Chicagoland. And so first and foremost, we have to go back in time. I think okay. we have to go back in time to understand what happened that made you so visionary and entrepreneurial? So, um, I, it, it's kind of a funny story. I like funny. I, I, I don't know that uh, there was this great pull to say, you know, you're, you're an entrepreneur. Although when I was a little kid, we used to collect golf balls from the golfers by my house and yeah. sell them back to them. So I, w I was always kind of entrepreneurial, but the, the I was working, actually I dropped out of college, okay? And I dropped out of college to be a rock star. Love it. And uh, I, I, my, I was still living on campus for a while and my parents said, you know, come home for the weekend, we gotta talk to you. Like, you, we, we, we found out that you dropped out and we're not real happy about that, you know, you need to come home. And so uh, then they proceeded to tell me that they were going to retire and move to Florida. <laughs> and I'm on my own. <laughs> And you're on your own. I was on my own. So oh my gosh. <laughs> like, I'm thinking, I'm like, how am I going to be a rock star if I have no place to wi live and, and I'm not making any money? Yeah, that's kind of so, problematic. Yeah, it's a little bit of a problem. <laughs> so so uh, I, I, my dad was a longtime member of Local 134, a union guy okay. for electrician. So he, uh, through kind of some of the people he knew, I ended up getting a job at an electrical contractor driving uh, materials to and from the jobs. Okay and uh, eventually worked my way into being a uh, union technician. And, and at that point, I'm like, you know what? I, uh, I, I needed to do that so that I could buy a house because it didn't make any sense to rent an apartment and rent a practice studio. It's too expensive. Yeah. So I needed to get a house. Problem so, solver. Yep, so, so that I could uh, <laughs> have a place to live and practice. So w we need those people that can see the train heading for a brick wall and say, hold on. Something is not right here. Not yes people. No, not yes people. Yeah. And, and with that though, with that culture, mm -hmm. then, and we promote it, there's, there's conflict, mm -hmm. right? There's people that step up and say, you know, you know, Mr. Sinclair, you're not being smart on this thing. We need to think of it differently. Mm -hmm. And I like that. I wanna mm -hmm. be in a room with nothing but people that are smarter than me. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be the smartest right. guy in the room. It's a leadership quality. I mean, truly, right? Rounding yeah, it out. It's, it's, I think it's insanity if the leader of a company wants to be the smartest guy in the room. Absolutely. So There's a lot to be said in just that sentence alone, right? Yeah, it's absolutely. your wisdom talking right there, Scott. You got some wisdom. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. So based on the fact that you have some new partners mm -hmm. and you're growing, yes. right? So if those of you who were job seeking, you could rewind or go back to what his job profile was because they're going to be hiring. but. On a side note, you think of that, you take on new partners, you have a lot of growth going on in your business. How do you actually continue to express your culture invitation to the talent that's been with you for a long time against the new talent that's coming in and marry that? What <laughs> do you feel, right? It's really important because that's really gonna be where you're at right now. Mm -hmm. And you think of HR in the fast lane. Mm -hmm. What are some of the dynamic HR things that you think are gonna be the the cutting edge things that make the difference? So it's a real challenge. I mean, I think now culture is definitely a moving target. It's not, it's not something that you, I mean, you could set your core mission and your vision, your values and your goals and all that stuff, mm -hmm. but the culture is all about the drops in the bucket. Mm -hmm. You know, if you've got some nice purple Kool-Aid, <laughs> right? And then you get somebody to come along and drop one drop of clear liquid in there, 
it dilutes the purple Kool-Aid and pretty soon yeah. you've got lavender Kool-Aid. That's right. You know, kind of like the shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's that, it's that easy. <laughs> it is. So um, it's very important that before, you know, the, the new person drops into the bucket that they're, they're vetted as best as you possibly mm -hmm. can to make sure that they're buying into the culture. Right. Um, uh, so that you can kind of maintain something. But at sometimes, you know, somebody comes in and, and, and drops something in the bucket and it, it's a good change mm -hmm. and it improves culture and improves communication. So you have to be open to that too. You can't just be, you know, it, you, you have to match this or else, right. you know, you, you have to be open to something else coming in Diversity. and make, making the company greater because it is about the company. Yeah. Such wisdom. I think it's such an honor to absolutely just get a little deeper with you today. I really appreciate the time that you've spent with me. I think that the things that you've shared with our audience today are really good nuggets of somebody that's really taken a business from the ground all the way to being a best place to work in Chicago. So truly, thank you very much, Scott. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Where can they find you? Uh, Exclutel.com. www.exclutel.com. That's X-C-L-U-T-E-L.com. Apply now. Talk to you later.